Hello friends, today I am going to discuss how to generate XML file using PHP. First of all, I will give a brief idea what is XML. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. And why XML came into existence? The reason is that XML file can be open on any operating system. The difference is that HTML, HTML file also can be open on in any operating system, but XML file is a structured file. That means data and metadata both things are available in the XML file. And in HTML file only data is available. Okay. So XML file structure is like a tree structure in that this is called student the i'm i am gender i am showing you xml file of students okay so student this this is the root element then this student is the child element and these are name and age and subject these are sub child element okay and so every opening tag needs needs to be closed in xml okay and xml you can create user defined tag now we will see about the generating of xml file using php first of all i need to show you php file here uh, i have used cricket in that uh, before cricket i written less than sign and after cricket i written greater than sign the reason is that php file cannot understand this closing tag and opening tag in the in the program okay that's why header is required that is needed to write in php file which is important because contain type text xml these headers tell the browser that we are dealing with the xml file remember that i am telling you important thing header tells the browser that we are dealing with xml that's why it needs to be written when you are writing a graphics program in php there also header is required and remember that if you don't write the syntax of header properly your program will give error and it will not work correctly and another thing is pg connect pg connect that means i need to connect to the database localhost that means my uh, php and my database is on the same machine that means database name sam and uh, user such is there and now it is a query select star from, now we will see the database database the name of table is a cricket in cricket table we are having entities attributes player run wicket and not off and uh, we are having runs like 60,000, 50,000, 70,000, 45,000 and these things. Okay, the, the runs which are more than 60,000 are only 3, 70,000, 65,000, 64,000. So if I write a query that display the runs greater than 60,000, only 3 records should be displayed. Okay, so here I have written the query of database. That's why it is written in double quotes. Since it is a query of database and I am writing it in PHP, that's why I use double quotes. Select star from cricket where runs greater than 60,000. Then PG query is a function in PG Postgres which is used to execute the query. Die statement is used. Die statement is used. If their query goes fail, then it should fire that your query goes fail. If you don't write die statement, you will not understand where is the error. And next thing is dollar row is equal to PG fetch row dollar row is equal to pg fetch row it will display the output in tabular formatting in using index array using index array that's why it is written here row 0 row 1 row 2 and row 3 row, row 0 row 1 row 2 and row 3 okay and uh, this is the root element needs to be closed in remember in xml every opening tag needs to be closed it is not like html that some tag doesn't need to be closed like br tag okay and we will see the program output
yes it is now displaying only three records because there are only three reports in database which are having runs greater than 6 years old so this is all about the this is the simplest way to generate xml file using php you will find lot of techniques on the internet to generate xml file using php but this is the easiest way i find out i find it to generate the xml file using php okay so you can perform different operation of xml using php thank you